What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And Anchor has sent me something just like this, but a newer model. And we're going to test it and see just how good it is, if it's something worth getting or not. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Here we go. It is the Anchor PowerTouch 10. This is their newest wireless uh, fast charger. So you can go ahead and charge your devices quickly that support it. If they doesn't support it, it probably just ch charges it normally. We're going to put it up against their one I used before, which is this one, which kind of lights up blue around the edges here when you first connect it. And then here's uh, the old model. <laughs> yeah, this this one, the phone slid off very easily. This one had some rubber on it. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. All right, very sleek design. Looks pretty cool. It's got some rubber feet on the bottom to keep it steady. So it doesn't slide around on your nightstand or whatever you're gonna put it and it's got some nice rubber on top so it's gonna go ahead and hold your phone in place pretty good we've got a type c <laughs> i'm so glad to see more and more things converting over to that so we've got a type c cable here and in the box that's it it is normal usb to type c so let's go ahead and plug that into the back here and to be fair, it's possible we'll go ahead and get this fast charger here and plug it in. And just for comparison, here's the newest one versus the last one they made. This was the PowerPort QI10, the A2513. This is the A2512. So it looks like it does 5 volts 1 amp at 9 volts 1.1 amps. And then we'll connect this other one here to this guy all right so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is first put it on this one these are very sensitive on exactly where you place the NFC chip so it's uh might take a little bit of experimenting to figure out there we go it just connected this one actually says fast wireless charging I didn't know that was even possible on this old one here because I always just use the uh, anchor five port little charging station and had this plugged into it so let's open up Ampere, get a little quick measurement of how fast it's charging so it looks like it's going at about 700 our battery is you know 79 almost 80 percent so it is a little bit up there as far as how much it has so we've got Ampere on her galaxy s7 we'll put that on here and once we find the right spot there we go and the little light on here is green letting us know that it is fast charging. This is the one that came with my daughter's Motorola G4, the Moto G4. So it looks like that one's going at a little bit faster rate. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is, and there's a little blue light that's coming out from underneath here, flashing on the table, it's like pulsing. It's kind of hard to see because there's all these lights in here, but it's like a very gentle, goes in, fades out, a little blue light. So it looks like it's both going at a decent rate. Looks like it says fast wireless charging. All right, let's go ahead and just flip these around here. Put this one on here and this one on here. The Note 5 is a little more sensitive on where you place it. There we go. So it looks like we finally found the sweet spot on here. It is definitely the phone, not the actual charger. As you saw, the when you place these on there, it's immediate. It happens very quickly. Power disconnected, drop down just a little bit. Dang it, I gotta find that spot again. There we go. <laughs> Man, the Note 5, th this thing immediately was like, oh, I'm charging, we're good. The Note 5 wants to be a little pain in the butt. I did have a Note 7, but and I, I was one of those ones that was like, well, if it burns my house down, I will uh, just sue Samsung. Then I uh, kept getting a notification on my phone that says, power your device down immediately, and so... <laughs> I went ahead and did that. That way I didn't uh, have my house burned down. And then, oh, well, you were warned. So then they actually updated it, made it towards people can't charge their phone all the way or something like that. I don't know. I got rid of it probably about three or four months ago. Sad day, definitely. But the Note 5 is still a very good phone. And, you know, if you're looking to get a Galaxy Note series, the Note 5 is definitely still a very good phone. But looks like these are both charging at around the same rate. This one's definitely getting a little bit faster charge. 
this battery is lower. It was uh, 43%. It was significantly lower than this one being 80%. So that's might be why it's charging a little bit faster because I made a video before where I was testing out fast chargers and when my battery was really low, it was going at like 2.5 amps on uh, the Type-C charger from Anchor. Uh, but when it was pretty high, it slowed down quite dramatically. Probably not to overcharge it or something, but... So there you go. There you have it. These are definitely things I recommend. You just put them on your bed and... You know, you're charging your phone overnight or say, you know, you're in the living room playing some video games like my wife does sometimes and she has this charging and she gets notifications on her watch. So this is a pretty cool thing to have. Definitely go ahead and just get the big boy here. The newest one, the Power Touch 10. It looks like if you do get this one, you're doing pretty good too. So <laughs> this one's still going to be used. And just for giggles, let's go ahead and hook up this old one here real quick. It also might have helped to have this on a fast chart. Well this one connected to a fast charger when I was uh, doing it before. So this one's very sensitive too. You gotta wait, the little light turns blue right there. It's flashing green and blue. You can't actually see it in the video, but let's go ahead and see just how fast this one or slow this one's charging. Oh my, 270, it was 100 and something. 320, 380, that's, you know, 400 <laughs> none of these are that bad definitely you know these can crank up to one milliamp you know or possibly even more than that uh it looks like the maximum there was 1030 so all right let's go ahead and take these and flip them around now let's put that one on the slow one and put this one on the fast one and we got to find that sweet spot found it this thing does not complain the s7 just doesn't complain it does what it's supposed to do holy heck oh that was just a little burst there 510 so that's not a this one's not very slow either none of these are that slow i mean obviously you're going to get a much faster charge if you connect it directly to the uh usb cable but this is really helpful because one time we had my nexus 7 and it was my daughter's actually and she was a lot younger at the time and she you know a micro usb they're only going one way and she didn't know that or you know and she'd just jam it in there and broke the charger it, it would not charge at all wired we had to have it wirelessly charged so we had the little nexus 7 charger that you can buy from asus and it was pretty cool but there you go there you have it you got to look at how fast these things can go and a look at all three of them really but definitely this is about the newest addition to the family here and for whatever reason it's liking the uh, s7 a lot better if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you are not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.